So what can you do as a tourist in Huashi village? This village is filled with replicas of some of the world's most iconic landmarks, from the Statue of Liberty to the White House, the Arc de Triomphe, the Sydney Opera House, and even some from China, such as the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, and even Tiananmen Square. Wu Renbao's idea of bringing these world-famous landmarks to Huashi was to let residents have the chance to tour the world in just a day. Another motivation for building the replicas, according to Wu, was to let ordinary people who could not afford to travel abroad have a sense of what these structures looked like. Most of the replicas were built in the 1990s. Huashi people, like many other Chinese people back then, were quite poor. Having the replicas in the village could satisfy their desire to travel the world. This idea of bringing the world to Huashi is manifested in the second part of Einstein's quote, imagination encircles the world. The imagination of developing Huashi literally motivated Wu Renbao to encircle the world, exemplified not only by the inclusion of iconic landmarks, but also statues of historical figures from the east and west there are religious statues such as Avalokitesvara, Jesus Christ, and even Mother Mary. They also include statues of important leaders of the Chinese Communist Party, such as Chairman Mao Zedong, Deng Xiaoping, Zhou Enlai. Important Chinese historical figures, such as the military general from the Southern Song Dynasty, Yu Fei. Chinese writers, like the leading figure of modern Chinese literature, Lu Xun. Chinese philosophers, such as Confucius, Lao Tzu, and Moser. To reach Huashi village from downtown Wuxi, the easiest and the fastest way is to take a taxi, which takes just 35 minutes. Imagination has transformed Huashi village into one of the richest villages in China and has also demonstrated its ability to expand its imagination beyond the village and encircle the whole world.